Shinglebiss or Shingbiss. Or something. An American folktale. 1956. Is that a guess? No, it reads, it says there. It's in Roman numerals at the bottom. No beeper today? Oh. The... <clears throat> I shall tell you, my children, <clears throat> of Little Brown Duck, Shinglebiss, and the North Wind. <clears throat> On the shores of Lake Her Heron, Shinglebiss, that's one of the Great Lakes, you know that, right? Shinglebiss lived in his teepee. How did he set that up? He had a great log fire to keep him warm when North Wind swept down with his icy breath. Beep. Happy and brave was little Shinglebiss. He was not afraid when North Wind blew. He waddled out across the ice to look for food, and he always found it. Beep. When Shinglebiss came to an icy pond, he pulled up frozen grass and reeds with his strong bill. Beep. Then down he dived through the holes in the ice that were left by the reeds. And up he came with fish for his supper. Quack. Shinglebiss fished, Shinglebiss fished and fished until he had caught all the fish that he needed. Beep. I like the quack. Then off to his teepee went little brown duck Shinglebiss. Quack. Pu no, pulling a string of fish behind him. Quack. On the blazing fire, he cooked his fish for supper. Then, warm and snug in his teepee, Shinglebiss fell asleep. He cooks his fish. Ooh, called North Wind angrily. Who dares to come out? Everyone but Shinglebiss is afraid of Big Chief North Wind. But I shall frighten him. <laughs> then North Wind sent out cold, icy winds and great drifts of snow. He thought Shinglebiss would not dare to go out. Quack. But Shinglebiss was not afraid of ice and snow. Yeah. Or snow. He, wa he waddled out across the ice just the same as before. Each day little Shinglebiss went fishing on the in the icy pond. When he had enough fish, he took them home and cooked them for his supper. Woo! Roared North Wind. So Shinglebiss is not afraid of ice and snow. Big Chief North Wind will freeze the holes in the pond. Then Shinglebiss can get no food. Shinglebiss came to the pond and found his fishing holes closed. Mm -hmm. But he was not angry. He went on until he found another pond with reeds. Again, Shinglebiss pulled up reeds with his strong bill and made new holes in the ice. North Wind couldn't keep him from catching fish. Oh, quack. Every day, Shinglebiss had to find another pond because North Wind closed up the holes where he fished, but Shinglebiss always came home with fish for supper. Yum, yum. North Wind grew more angry. Shinglebiss will soon find out who is Big Chief. He roared. I will go to his teepee and put out his fire. I will freeze him. <laughs> Quack. One night, Shinglebiss had just eaten his supper. He lay down by the fire, warming his little feet. Quack. North Wind crept quiet. <laughs> crept quietly up to the door of his teepee. Of the teepee. He did not want Shinglebiss to hear him. Then he blew his icy breath through the door. Quack. Cause I'll huff and I'll puff. Quack. Shinglebiss knew that it was the North Wind, so he began to sing. Ho, ho, North Wind, blow, blow. You can't freeze me, I, so I am free. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Beep. This made North Wind even more angry. He crept into the teepee and sat down by the fire. Shinglebiss sang louder, making believe he did not see North Wind. Shinglebiss put more logs on the fire. The fire grew hotter and hotter. All at once, North Wind's icy hair began to melt. My Big, hair. Big Chief is melting, he cried. Me. Oh, I'm melting. Big Chief North Wind knew that little brown duck Shinglebiss had won. He ran from the teepee, teepee and <laughs> fell in the snow. <laughs> Shinglebiss heard him cry. Big Chief can't make Shinglebiss afraid. Can't take his food. Can't freeze him. Now Big Chief will let him alone. Wait. 
And that, my children, is the story of Shinglebiss and the Big North Wind. Quack. Yay!